Now, we found all the clues about who the ghost of Cosmos is, but I have been told it is a much better reveal if we just go do the quest and not reveal who the ghost is. Now, we thought it might be Aspasia. Ah. We thought it might be Aspasia, but we weren't really sure. So, this will be the time to find out if indeed that is correct. Or whether... It's someone I've completely missed. Uh, where? Wh oh god, where? <laughs> oh, here. Oh, at the Temple of Apollo. Oh, bitch! Is it actually? The Temple of Apollo, where the fucking Oracle lives. Please don't tell me it's that. There was one of the two. One of the two. It's Aspasia or an oracle. But it might not be either. Who knows? And it's also where the cult met. Oh yes, it is also where the cult met. That's true. Because there was the little bit, wasn't there? Where we went. Cassandra. It was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago. A group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war. One you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Cassandra. You need to be the hero again. Okay. Thanks, Maths Daddy. I mean, I don't feel that that's helped me apart from repairing the rift. Why was I in a suit with Layla as well? So, you've seen it too then. I knew it! It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader, but only for a moment it seemed. When your brother came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. Right. I mean, you know, not like this was obvious as fuck, but... Why, why would... Why? I don't actually care. He's not on your side. We've brought him back. She's just going to be salty now, because he became the leader. He wasn't the leader, he was a puppet, but whatever. Malaga! So you were after us! Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. Oh my god. Oh, my actual, yes. Telling me you're a cultist took guts. You know what I do to cultists, Aspasia. I didn't want to lie to you anymore. Now that they're gone, we can work together. I think we'd make a good match, don't you? I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. 
This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades, and we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Zemos, and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There would be a movement away from the old gods towards rational society. Built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So, I let them carry out their plans and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles know? I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. I... I don't know how the fuck I feel about this, because she's the leader, and she's like, oh, I just thought I'd let them, like, die. Just a bit. I don't know. The fuck knows. I think you betrayed his trust. He trusted you, and in the end, you didn't protect him. Maybe he would be alive if you'd stopped them. Gods know I would have if I could. When Vimos killed him, I knew the original cause was lost. I had to retreat. So... What happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightened. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. <sighs> I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future is not a dream. Right, this is not... Wow, okay, these are choices. <laughs> Holy fuck. I... <sighs> Fuck it. You know what? At this point in the game, I actually don't care. I don't I don't like when she was like, let go and trust me. Like, that's so stupid. No, fuck it. Go on then. <laughs> this would not this is this is quite unrealistic. Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. I suppose that means you trust me. I I don't know what that means. I'll tell you what it means. Love is a singular comfort, Cassandra. What comes next means harmony for everyone. You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. Not me. I couldn't have done this without you, Cassandra. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. I don't know what the fuck we're after. I just pressed that because chat told me to. I just don't feel it's helped at all. I want to kill you and destroy the pit. Fine. Cassandra, there is much left to do now. Cassandra! Cassandra. Just get rid of that. I can weather any storm. Hey, Maths Daddy. You're looking particularly old and ugly today. Dickhead. Uh, is it here? Am I plumbing them in here? No, I'm not plumbing them in here. I'm plumbing them in... What? Oh, I see. Hang on, I'm plumbing them in here. Well, these aren't concerning at all.
This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Yeah. Get this. Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The Precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. Sorry, Maths Daddy. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. Yeah. Put it down, bitch. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No, no, lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Put it down, Master. Daddy. Put it down. Right, last one, and then we'll see. Maybe Maths Daddy will go mad and fuck the whole thing. Or maybe he will save us all. Maths Daddy! Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to see. You brought me closer to Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. What do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Oh, don't do this to me again. Don't say, don't say Layla. Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness. When I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invention was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. Yeah, math study. Just calm the shit down. Give that staff back as well. You were told to by the gods, bitch. Also, I think I've leveled up. Maybe. No. 
No, we're, we're borderline. I'm going to go over on the next one. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. Yes, you do. You have to. Look. You can't... You're getting stuck in this same fucking thing. It's not on. Also, I like that our, like, coppery breastplate has gone a bit green. Nice. Uh, I don't want to be sealed in. He is losing control. And then also snap out of it. He's got to give up the staff. We have to close Atlantis off. Or shit goes down. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There's so much to learn. With this knowledge, we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. No, no, corruption. No, I'm taking the staff, Maths Daddy. I've had enough of this. Give me the staff. You have to, for the sake of everyone. The knowledge contained in here could fix everything for generations to come. I can't just walk away from that. What good is knowledge if there's no one around to use it? Leave if you must, but I will not. I'm not going without the staff. I may be old, but I am not as weak as I appear. Oh shit, Maths Daddy, no! Maths Daddy's gonna have a throwdown with us, holy shit. Maths Daddy! Why, Maths Daddy, why? Oh shit! Where'd he go? Math daddy! Whoa! Alright. Fucking Medusa. The only reason he doesn't want to give it up is he's obsessed, but also he's like the staff is what's keeping him alive. So there's like it's entirely selfish. Fucking selfish little math daddy. Please. You don't have a choice. I want it destroyed. Yeah! Shit. Mass Daddy! Stop this now! Whoa! Do your mind! Well, I've been thrown out of the circle. Shit. Mass Daddy! Why? Ow! Fucking hell that! What the fuck, dude? Holy shit! Whoa. Oh my god! It's been imbued with like the power of the the I don't know, Medusa eye? Like the, where did you get all this from? It's supposed to be a healing staff. Pathetic. Oh, all right. A common thug? I'm an embarrassment to maths, daddy. Oh. No. Oh, you little shit. Used my goddamn thing up. Fucking rude. Mass daddy! You are a terrible mass daddy! You didn't even teach me your theories! You just told me I was a stupid mystios! No wonder I hate myself, daddy! Daddy, please! Daddy! Oh no, hang on. Hang on. Let me get the let me get my magical spear out. We can both wave our magical spears at each other. How about that? It's over. Give me the staff. You do not deserve the infinite knowledge of the creators. That's the point. Nobody does. <laughs> oh, no. oh, he's dying. There we go. <laughs> Bye, Math Daddy. <laughs> you were too good for this world. Fuck that, Math Daddy. Oh yeah, it's not the Asclepios staff, is it? I've already got that. It's the staff of Hermes. 
Hermes, uh, can I hop over here? Oh my god, I can. Right, one moment. I'm just going to throw Daddy into the avoid. Bye, Maths Daddy. <laughs> He's got a funeral at sea now. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. I can't. I can't. It's fucking Maths Daddy. Why? Everything in order? Then, open sesame. Oh my god. So much power. The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. Time to troubleshoot. What? Okay, fine. It's time time to parkour. Layla hasn't done much parkour for a while. But apparently is competent enough that we're going to go up here. It's fine. She's been Cassandra for eons. We know about... I think we knew about the Lisbon one. Because there was that... There was the earthquake, wasn't there? In Spain. In Rogue? Or something? I'm not sure about the Arctic one. That might have been mentioned. But these would be the ones that the Templars found. So, um... Oh, it's a mirror puzzle. Nice. Layla, that pillar looks like it can move. You're a pillar. Shush. I'm getting on it. I'll do it now. Those pillars seem to have mirrors on them. I know! Manipulate those light beams. They might illuminate something important. I got it. Nailed it. Can I jump off and like fall to my death? Oh god. Let's find this water. I just suddenly went, hang on a minute, we're not level 20. <laughs> we can't just fall off. Just turn into Lara when she does the dive in like one and you do it onto any sort of like solid ground, she just instantly dies. Right. Well, this is going well. Good job. Where is it? <sighs> what? True knowledge exists. You know nothing. Bish, what? A good friend told me that once. Possible. Cassandra? Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> You weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus! You must have so many questions, Leila. I've got a question about where you got the suit from. Because surely you have to take, like... I don't know if you noticed, but when Pythagoras let go of the spear, he instantly died. So has she got to try on suits whilst touching it? <laughs> also, can I have the staff? <coughs> I'm not, I don't want to fight her for it. Fucking hell. Is this the point at which... Are we going to get weird-ass DLC? Where... She... Like, we have Cassandra in the modern-day timeline with Layla. Is that what's going to go down? You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. 
I came here with a purpose. To find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. What about your spear? I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh, no. You can keep it. It's broken. But you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Herodotus could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. Okay. So the spear confirmed. The spear in modern day is, is useless. Uh, well, I guess I need the staff. Oh god, if we should... Oh, oh no, Cassandra might die. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. But that would destroy the balance, wouldn't it? What do you mean, destroy the artifacts? Oh God. So much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Cassandra again. It's like, the ridiculous thing is, if she wasn't there, she would already be dead? Oh, hello. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Navas. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible! It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. All right. And that's how we have, I think Herodotus is like one of the earliest accounts of Atlantis. Um, I guess. Uh, it's a long story. Actually, fuck it. I might blow his little mind by telling him who Mass Daddy is. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know, Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had the staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. 
<sighs> he was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. Fucking lying little shit. He's gonna go home and write it all down now. <laughs> it's like, quick. Where did, where did she say? What did she say? Get it written down! We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. Sure, mate. I mean, you're technically both right, and you're also both very wrong. You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are, perhaps she, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. Well, that's very kind of you to say. Everyone's getting their feet wet. For no fucking good reason. We could have had this chat back at the damn boat, lads. <laughs> 